Hey, what's going on guys? It's your brother L. Hell excels. Excels the game. Excels my name. Make sure you guys go ahead and excel today. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I want to talk about a very important life lesson that I think not a lot of young guys know about. Even I was kind of ignorant to it. Uh, and you know, ignorance is bliss a lot of the times, but this, this is important. If you really want to level up, if you really want to get to the next level in your life, you have to, you have to realize this like rule of law for a man, okay? It's important to realize that you are only obli obligated to save yourself, right? Like you have your destiny in your own hands. No one else is going to force you to do things. No one else is going to force you to become a lawyer, to become a doctor. That is really up to you. And that's why I think it's very important for you guys to really get your mindset checked and locked in. Okay, I know there's a lot of distractions in the world. I know there's, you know, social media that plays influence that tells you you got to do this and you need to do it a certain way. But it's important that if you have a goal in your life, you really need to lock in on it. Okay, and understand this important basic fact that no one is coming to save you. No one is going to give you a helping hand and tell you, oh, here, here, I'm going to, you know, assist you with, with you getting to your goals. That's not going to happen. Okay, you need to realize if you want it, you have to make it happen. Even the days when you're tired and you're struggling, right? When you only got like four hours of sleep and you need like assistance with things, it's up to you. Like, honestly, don't expect, you know, a girlfriend, even like relatives, you know, close friends to help you because you really need to put your destiny in your hands. It's important. I think how I used to think is, you know, you know, I won't lie to you guys, you know, a lot of my, my, you know, early childhood was, you know, struggling, was trying to get to the next level. You know, when I was a teenager, I was trying to get to the next level. I used to tell myself, you know, someone's obligated to help me. Like someone has to help me because like, that's what people do. Like people are going to help you. No, that's not going to happen. You need to realize you can only help yourself, right? Let's say you have an addiction, right? Like you have a drinking addiction or a smoking addiction or a gambling addiction, it's up to you to, to quit. Cause you've got, if you want to quit, it, it's really up to you. Okay. You can have people tell you to do things. You can have people, you know, yeah, you could have help sometimes where people tell you, tell you to join like an AA meeting or, you know, go to gamblings anonymous or things like that. But it's very important that it's up to you. Like you have to have the want to stop things to like, to improve your life. Okay, no one's obligated to help you, to save you. That is up to you. And I want, to, I want you guys to realize things that you're doing today, that's really not benefiting your life. Okay, I can attest to this. Like, guys, sometimes, I, I, even me, like, even when I get bored, like, I finished all my work. I did everything I had to do. And at the end of the night, I find myself wanting to go out when I, know, when I knew I should have stayed home. Like, honestly. Because, you know, you tell yourself, oh, I'm bored. Uh, there's probably people out. I can go meet people, right? And I think it's, and I want you guys to go meet people. I want you guys to go socialize, but there needs to be checks and balances in your life. Okay, for any successful business going on, there's checks and balances, right? Like in government or, you know, when there's CEO, like when there's a CEO of a company, he needs someone to, you know, to want to make, help make decisions, but there's a checks and balance. The CEO needs to sign off on things. It's important in your life, you're, you have checks and balances. You have order. You need to make sure your life is in order. Like you have a schedule. Guys, having a schedule is very important for a man. It's very important. If you don't have a, a schedule, that means you have no order. You have no direction in what you should be doing. Like you need to be having direction. Okay. You, the days of getting up and, you know, going to the gym and, you know, it could be a random day and, you know, and, Anything could happen today. Those days need to stop. Like you really need to have, you know, a schedule. You really, really, really need to abide by that. Okay, have order. There's nothing wrong with order. Um, you know, surprisingly, the, a lot of guys just get up day to day, go to work, get home, and you know, just live for the day. They don't have, you know, a schedule. They don't have a direction where they want their life to go. Don't be like those guys. I need you to be above that. I need you to really lock in. You know, have direction. Have order. It's very important. You know, we, we tend to forget these things because, you know, like I said, distractions, like, 
you know, like the TikToks and YouTube and, you know, yeah, those things can be beneficial, but at the same time, they can be a detriment to your growth because all you're doing is distracting yourself all day. You're not locking in. You need to realize I got order. I got a determination. I got a path I'm trying to go to and I need to lock in. I can't give up on my goals. Like most people give up on their goals. Most people get hopeless when they don't see progression. Don't get discouraged. I, I, this is like, a, I want you guys to really take this video and run with it. Cause I, you know, sometimes we need that boost. This is, you need reassurance in your life. And this is me telling you to stay locked in. Things change when you, you know, you're consistent, when you're disciplined, when you have hustle, when you have the ambition, things change. It doesn't happen overnight, but you really need to realize in order to become successful, no one's helping you. It's up to you. It's up to you to get rejected from job offers. It's up to you to go re get rejected from girls, and you know, you learn how to move and maneuver through it. Like embrace it, guys. Embrace the struggle. Okay, when you're struggling, this is the time of your life because now you know, okay, I'm locking in, I'm focused. Things may not be working out this way when I get rejected, or things don't work out when I take a loss this way in a financial loss and a business, you know, deal or whatever. But now you know, now you know better. Use your experiences and learn from them. Most people go through a hard time, go through difficult times, and do not learn from their experiences. They repeat the same mistakes. I was like this too. Like even sometimes I even find myself making repetitive mistakes. And that's why I get so mad and frustrated with myself because I knew better. I knew I shouldn't have been doing things. And I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. I want you guys to take this advice and use it and run with it. Like really lock in. Like when you're getting distracted, when you think that you should be going, like you, you, you should be going out because you're bored or you know, you should be buying things because you haven't spent money in a while on nice things. No, don't get distracted. This is me telling you, it's gonna set you back, man. Stay focused, stay locked in, man. If you made it this far in my video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, follow my Instagram and my Twitter down below. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Let's continue to excel every day. Don't get discouraged, don't get distracted. Focus on yourself and lock in. I appreciate every single one of you.